Hello Internet! In this video we are going to take a quick look at two additional ways you can kind of work with quaternions to make them a little bit nicer to use. Uh, specifically we're going to be looking at the two operators that quaternions support. This allows you to add them together so you can uh, add two quaternions together so you add a rotation to a rotation or you can uh, multiply them by a vector and use that uh, to actually uh, rotate the vector by a specific rotation. Um, so we are going to take a look at how to use both of those um, just really quickly to kind of show you what it is. Um, this is just a random ray. Um, so the way this, this script ends up working out is it has a five unit long ray, I guess, that is always along vector three dot forward. Um, so this is not relative to this uh, object. I can rotate the object and the ray stays the same, uh, but it is relative or going to be relative to this rotation value here. Um, so this currently does nothing. Uh, if I increment this rotation, nothing happens. But what we want is we want to actually rotate that ray just like we would expect if we were rotating this game object and it was attached to that game object. So if we go and look at our code here, this is what is accomplishing everything right now. The way this is all working uh, is I have an execute and edit mode uh, uh, annotation up there. And that mean, that tells Unity, even during the edit mode of Unity's editor, run the update function. And that is what is actually updating this result. Um, Visual Studio is being weird. Uh, but, but yep, being very weird. Uh, anyway, uh, what we need to do now is now that we have the result vector, we want to we want to modify it. So the easiest way is to multiply by a quaternion. Um, so if we do quaternion .Euler, and we'll just do we'll rotate it around the y axis so it'll be rotated along the x z plane so across the ground. Uh, we should rotate this by the rotation and just do this. So in this case, rotation is going to going to be the same as you would provide to the Unity transform. We're just providing it to this quaternion instead. This obviously uh, it is nonsense. This doesn't actually work. Um, because we're just setting a quaternion to a vector. Um, you, can't, you can't do that. that. That isn't a thing you can do. But what you can do is multiply a quaternion by a vector. And it has to come in this order. So the quaternion, the quaternion is always on the left side and the vector is always on the right side. If you switch these, uh, you're going to get a completely different result. Uh, specifically, this doesn't compile. Um, so if you're getting a compiler and it says whatever this says, quaternions are represent rotations, cannot apply operator times to vector three and whatever, um, that's not telling you that you cannot multiply these two things together. It's telling them you can't multiply them in this order. Um, unlike addition, these care about order. Uh, there's a word for that in math, but I don't remember what it is. Um, but anyway, by doing this, we are saying multiply our result vector by whatever this rotation is. So in relative to that vector, it is going to rotate it. Um, so if we actually go and look back at this, everything is still set at zero. Everything should be good. But if I start incrementing this rotation, that vector is now going to start spinning for us. Um, and so I'm not rotating the object. I'm not changing anything. The vector is still a vector of three dot forward times five. We're just multiplying it by a quaternion to rotate it around the origin, which the origin is that center point. Uh, and so it's just uh, think of it like a circle, effectively. We've drawn a circle around our vector. So our vector starts at the center of the circle and goes at, it has a length of the radius. So in this case, it's a length of five. And what we're doing by increasing the radius is just saying move around the circle by the, however much. Um, that's how this, this ends up working for you. Uh, so that is the, the basics of, I guess, rotating a vector. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons you might want to do that, um, but that's one of them. Uh, the other option you have is adding quaternions. Um, so this is multiplying a quaternion by a vector. You can also multiply a quaternion by a quaternion. Um, so we can actually do quaternion Euler zero nine. Or let's do rotation again and zero. And so this is going to do these two quaternion multiplications first, left to right again, and then it's going to multiply by the result. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, we can do uh, rotation is equal to that. Uh, we can't call it rotation. That's wrong. Um, but we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll do result uh, equals our rot, not that, times our result. 
and we will just reduce this name so that it actually works. Uh, we had a conflict with it with naming it to the float, uh, so we can't do that. But this should work. So we're saving this into a temporary variable. This will store our current rotation. Effectively, what this is doing is doubling the rotation. So when I say to rotate 90 degrees, it's actually going to rotate 180 degrees. Uh, I'm keeping this in a single dimension. You don't have to. We could change any of these other ones and it will work. I'll do that at the end just to show you that it, it does work. Um, but but you, you don't have to. Uh, the, these are just going to going to work regardless, unless something's broken. Uh, so there we go. This should now be rotated by double whatever we plug in. So if we plug in 45, we should now get a 90 degree angle. If we plug in 90 like we did previously, now we should get 180 degrees, which so should point in the exact opposite direction. So now that it's compiled, we can just do 90 and it's going backwards. Uh, so that means I, I didn't screw up. <laughs> so there we go. So zero, and as we increase this, it, it increases faster. Uh, this is not how you should increase things faster. Um, but but, but it, it, that's, that's how I've coded it. So it does this. Uh, what we can also do is if we go here and just move this around. So instead of rotating both of them on the y, around the y-axis, let's do something weird like this and rotate around the uh, y and the z-axis. Uh, and so this will either end up pointing up or down, depending on which one I did, when we do 90, uh, or should. Nope. Okay, it didn't. Uh, uh, let's, let's change this again, because I think... I, I did this before, and so I, I kind of know what I'm expecting the results to be. Um, and they weren't what I was expecting. I, I don't actually know. I haven't bothered to actually work out what this. There we go. That's gone straight down. All right. <laughs> so this is this is effectively the same as doing the normal rotation things. We've rotated it by 90 and on the X. So you can see uh, if I do that slower, uh, you'll see as I increment X, it starts facing forward because X is this way uh, sideways. Um, so it'd be like going forward or backwards. Uh, and so in this case, we're rotating 90 degrees, and then we're also rotating along the y-axis by 90 degrees as well, um, which just spins around, effectively does a roll around that axis. Um, so that is, I guess, the two operators, and that's how you can use them. There are some other fun things you can do. Um, Unity also has matrices that you can use to multiply. Um, Go for it if you want to use those. Um, but this is specifically about quaternions uh, because, at least for me, I never knew this stuff existed until I went searching a while ago and found a whole bunch of math that I didn't understand. Um, I still don't understand the math, but I understand that this works. Um, so there you go. <laughs> that, that's how you can use that. Uh, I've used this a bunch in things like uh, 3D games where I need uh, usually space stuff where I'm trying to like rotate in complex uh, ways. Um, I've seen a lot of people store Euler angles, um, so like X, Y, and Z, and then start doing quaternion.euler blah and modify it that way. Uh, there's gimbal locking issues that can arise. I've done a video on this. Um, and so this can avoid those. This can actually do real spherical rotations and hopefully get you a result that makes sense. Um, so hopefully this is helpful and you can use it in your games. Uh, if not, leave a comment and I will try to figure out what help, what, how to help you. <laughs> um, if it's an in-depth quaternion question, I probably can't. <laughs> um, that's, that's higher level maths than I remember. So <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it here. Uh, hopefully this is helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, see internet.